over if you heard, but obviously set a school record for fewest points allowed in a game. What would that mean to you guys, just be able to, to accomplish something like that when defense is such a focus here? Uh, we've been focused on defense every day in practice since the summer, and now that everybody has uh, been playing together, playing hard, we just took pride in defense and stopping everybody, and that's what uh, uh, the results was. Do you guys have any idea in the last minute or so that you were like really close to setting the record? Or? Joe, what it means to you know the culmination of kind of a lot of work to, to put together a game like this and you know set set a school record. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know what the record. Was it was thirty five, and so it was thirty three. You guys did yeah, today. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, that's what we've been working on for a long time. These last four years, you know, that's the majority of our practice is our defense. So yeah, hard work. Thank you. Four years of work that in a game like this, or. <laughs> Uh, what would it mean, you know, you know, you know, for you to get out there too, and you know, do what you did and contribute? You know, I know obviously maybe it's at the expense of a couple guys with injuries and stuff like that, but to have these these sorts of games where you can get a lot of guys in there and get them con contributing and playing some solid minutes, what does that do for this team? Yeah, these last couple of games have been good for us just to get different rotations in and stuff. And the ball was moving well, especially in the second half. So it's just, you know, just with our offense, just getting open shots like that, just our normal movements that we were doing. You're talking about the ball moving well. Part part of it was that guy on the end. Just what, what does he bring to the table? And his his passing skills are pretty impressive. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That, he does it every day, so it's it's not new for me. But you know that's what he does all the time. So it's great to have someone like that. Mike, you seem to get it going there in the first half. You ended the little run that they were on with one to the bucket. You got another one early in the game to the bucket. Just talk about your game and how it feels this year and what it's like. Uh, well, being a leader. Mike, you have, what, do you, what do you see your role as this year? Maybe how it's maybe different than your past? Uh, well, different in the past, I want to be probably the best defender on this team and in the Mount West because I know my, <coughs> my length and then my size and my quickness, I can be able to guard anybody. And that's, that's one of be my goals for going to the conference to help these guys and take a load off these guys just to help us win games. Because it's, it's interesting, because you know, if you asked about your role in the past, maybe it was a guy who was a big offensive spark. And I mean, are you trying now to maybe maybe compensate the other way because you know you can be an offensive spark already? Yeah, or I, I, uh, I know, and these guys know that I can score get to the hole and stuff like that. Even though I'd be working on my game, but I just gotta take more pride in my defense to help these guys out, so we can this can be one of the best uh, Bronco teams uh, Boise has ever seen. Montego, well, you, you know, five assists, uh, eight points, they go only seventeen minutes. You feel like you're. You know, get, getting more involved in the offense and kind of starting to maybe find a little role for yourself? Yeah, I'm getting more comfortable um, just getting a feel, um, getting better each day, and just trying to take care of my body. Uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling actually pretty great, you know, and just trying to be consistent, really, and um, understand the system. You had uh, Anthony out and Nick was out today, so some other guys got some, some, some chances. I know you found Chandler for a couple times. Uh, how, do you, how, do you, how do you think some of the other guys maybe that – Got a chance to get a little more playing time today. Uh, how do you think through that? Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for him. Um, I think we we like have a lot of depth as a team, and we very talented. We just got to put it together. Um, I came from a JUCO school. We had a lot of talent, and we figured it out. Uh, I think with this um, group of guys, we can all figure it out with great attitude, and you know have a good learning um, way. You guys had this four game homestand. You know, taking nothing away from who you play, but the competition you know takes a little step up here for this tournament, and then. Right in conference play, what, how do you kind of look at where you guys are at right now? Kind of what's what's ahead for you? Um, just to stay positive, because after these four games that we've been playing, everybody's been getting a lot of burn. We just gotta stay positive, stay healthy, and stay stay aggressive, because we're trying to win this tournament, and that's where we are going down to. It's a business trip. We'll have fun later, and uh, with that being a business trip, we just gotta go out there and play the way we play, play together, and play, get stops on defense. What's it going to mean to you to be able to be home, you know, and, and play play two games at home, and you know, you probably will probably walk home afterward to go to you know Christmas or whatever. But uh, it's, it's going to feel great going home, but uh, I'm going home with my uh, second family, and I'm just ready to play games just like they are, and then afterwards, and I can celebrate. I'm just ready to uh, play games and get stops on defense. Every time you guys are down there, you always have a you always have a pretty good crowd. You personally, yeah. are, do you have a couple people there, about a dozen or so, that like normal or uh, probably just like normal. Yeah.
Montego, late in the game, you were showing out a lot of assists up and down the floor. Seems like you're really in his zone. Tell us, mere mortals, what it's like to be moving that fast and find guys like that. What's that feel like? What's it like out there? Uh, that's, that's just my pace. I feel like I was, you know, I was fast, but not that fast. I mean, it's just my pace. Like, I just feel like I'm just in the zone and, and be able to uh, create the thoughts and be able to see the floor. So, I mean, it's kind of my pace, I guess. And, and for you to, what's it like to have a guy with pace like that out there? How does that change your game? What's it make you guys feel like when you know you have a guy up and down the floor looking for you like that? You just got to be ready at all times. <laughs> when he's going to be there, because he can be there in a flash. So. Yeah, just stay alert. Because, you know, like him getting the rebound or him getting the outlet, you just got to stay alert, have your head up. Because you know if he's just going to go right past you, he's going to go right past the team. You just got to stay alert. Mikey, with, with Anthony out in these last four games, with the scores being you know a little lopsided, you guys been able to get a lot of guys in and get some, some minutes too. How, how do you think that's going to help maybe? When the competition moves forward, that, that some guys, you know, maybe were able to get more minutes kind of early in the season. Uh, it's gonna help a lot because a lot of these guys are getting more confidence in themselves, and that's what we need for when we play big games. When other guys get tired down the stretch, these guys could come in and contribute, and that's what we all need. We all need a team support, and having that team support, we could uh, win games. Guys, what's to say about a player like Jake Nets, who doesn't see the floor a whole lot, to come in and then rip that rebound away from that guy, <laughs> go up and get a get a bucket. I saw everybody on the bench jump up. What's that like to see a guy like that? It's, I, I mean, I think it's exciting. I, it gets me hyped. It's like, it's like a fire of energy. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot you know, to see guys you know, come in. And we expect that from Jake. Jake's a great player out there. So, um, he's very aggressive. And he knows when to get you at it. So. Yeah, that, it's just been a lot of hard work put into it. And it's just fun to see him because he's if anyone knows him, he's a goofy guy and he's fun to be around. So it's great to see really good guys like that.